And now the cars are in neat two by two order, ready for the final race of the season. 18 laps between now and deciding who is our champion for the 2021 season. So buckle up everybody for the final time in 2021. We are about to go green in the NASCAR Wheel and Euro Series, Euro NASCAR Pro Division final for this season. Lights go out and it's not a bad start from Loris Hazemans, but Jack Villeneuve is matching him as they head up towards turn number one. Jack did not lift for this corner yesterday. I don't think he'll lift today, but neither of them do. Hazemans gets his nose ahead and picked up the lead of the race from Jack Villeneuve, who is now squeezing Giamarco Urkeli towards the grass. Urkeli just managing to hang on to it, sits there in third place, but it's Hazemans that leads in the early stages of this one. I think he's in the gravel trap. I think, I don't think we can quite see it there, but I think he's in the gravel trap, you know. Yes, he is. There is Gorelli, and that's his championship hopes gone. Gorelli did run wide. It just seemed like the car didn't turn into the corner, so I'm not suggesting that was a mistake at all. I think there was some sort of issue maybe there with Gorelli, because he didn't seem to go into the corner too quickly. Jumping Yaro and the door is open, and Jack Villeneuve almost managed to unlock the door there to grab the lead of the race. Hazeman's just pushed a little bit wide as they head out of Champagnero, but he's on the inside line as they head up towards the left-hander at Sorati. Villeneuve breaks as late as he can. He's going to try around the outside at Sorati. There's a lot of breaks from Morris Hazeman, who loses the lead of the race. Jack Villeneuve, wonderful move, fantastic, brave stuff from him picks up the lead of the race. And now Loris Hazeman is coming under pressure from Giammarco Urkeli. Horace Hazemans and Giamarco Urkeli have got their sleeves rolled up. They're still slugging it out like a pair of heavyweight fighters. A little nudge there from Urkeli into the coattails of the number seven Hendricks Ford, which delays Loris Hazemans. Urkeli's going to capitalise on that and squeeze his way through up to second position. That would put him on 409 points now, but Hazemans would still be on 416. It's a double win this weekend, a historic weekend for Jack Villeneuve, who goes to victory lane for the first two times in his NASCAR Wheel in Euro Series career. Villeneuve claims the win. Urkeli finishes in second place, ahead of Alain Day, who now jointly joins Fred Gabion on top of the all-time podium finishers list in third place. Luca Lasseri in fourth, and Loris Hazemans finishes in fifth place to finish on 512 championship points compared to Giamarco Urkeli's 409. So I've got the maths right. Hazemans is the champion, subject to official confirmation, and now a double champion, and he has secured that championship by just three championship points after a full season of racing. Fantastic stuff. But the maths will tell you that's good enough for the championship. But for that man there, look at the smile on Jack Villeneuve's face. He has had just the best weekend. Jack Villeneuve. Two race wins in a row now, a perfect way to end this NASCAR in your series season, right? Yeah, we only missed Paul on, the, on Saturday morning. The, the car was really flying. Uh, what we didn't have in the straight line speed, we had in the corners, and, and that worked. Uh, at some point, I didn't want to get involved in the championship fight, but you know, Loris was slowing me down, and the guys behind were up my gearbox, so I, I just had to go for it. And, uh, and then it was just a question of uh, keeping the, the gap. Is this a foreshowing of what we can see from you in 2022? I don't know where I'll be in 2022. We still have a lot to do, uh, maybe some stuff in the States. So we're just uh, looking now, uh, still have a lot of other stuff to do. It's nothing to do with NASCAR, Christmas, and then we can start breathing and figuring out the future. All right, thank you so much and congratulations. Thank you. Here is our champion. So there is Loris Hazemans. <laughs> he knows that he is now a two times NASCAR Wheel of Euro Series Pro Champion. You are a two-time NASCAR Wheel and Euro Series champion and the youngest in the history books of the series. How do you feel? Well, words can't describe right now. It's an amazing feeling. This time it's really not sinking in. Last time it was kind of around this time. Uh, it just feels amazing. I'm super happy with all, the, all that we have done over the year. Uh, missing a weekend, well, two races in Zolder and still being able to come back. And uh, yeah, this is the perfect send-off to go towards the States, I think. So what's the plan for 2022? Just um, yeah, go through your plans again for next year. Yeah, so next year I'll be uh, taking part in the NASCAR Xfinity Series part-time as well as taking part-time, hopefully, uh, uh, part in the Cup Series. So it's a very exciting project with Team uh, Hazelberg, sponsored by, or powered by Rayon Brothers. It's a very exciting opportunity and uh, I'm just so happy. I'm, uh, I can't wait to get started. All right, congratulations again. Two-time NASCAR Wheel and Series champion Loris Hazelman next year in the NASCAR Cup Series. This is the mastermind behind Hendrix Motorsports. You have two championship wins this weekend with Martin Dubek and Loris Hesemanns. How proud are you of these guys? 
Well, we set a goal in the beginning of the season. I told you something, what I wanted to do. And um, well, after some uh, <laughs> breathtaking moments in both races, actually, uh, well, we did it. And uh, we are super proud of, of what we did. And well, especially very thank you much for, for, for all the people that helped us. And uh, also for uh, the Hazemans family, uh, who made it possible to, for us to start all this, uh, this racing. And, um, well, all the guys did an amazing job. I mean, uh, it's really hard work to get on this level, and uh, well, we got them all. I mean, Elite Pro, Elite Two, and the team uh, championship. So, um, well, couldn't be more happy. All right. So, 2022, the mission is going to be to defend those titles. Uh, I don't know yet. <laughs> I mean, it cannot be uh, a lot better than this, though. But uh, we keep on going and uh, keep on doing the best job we can. All right. Thank you, well, and congratulations. Yeah, thank you. The champion will receive his trophy from Jarek Galpin, president of the NASCAR Winning Euro Series, and Alan Boykman representing NASCAR. This will be the last podium that we will show as we need to cut the broadcast after this podium presentation. But we will get to see the champion lift this fantastic TJ Championship trophy that will be presented by Jarek Galpin and Alan Boykman. Pick up the stair and give our work we've got theirs. Ah, there we go, so there we go, Alan Boynton and Jerome Galvin, Alan Boynton representing NASCAR, Jerome Galvin, the president of the NASCAR Wheel of Euro Series, look at that fantastic championship trophy that is going the way of Loris Hazemans, lifted aloft, he is our 2021 NASCAR Wheel of Euro Series champion, and a two times champion at that as well. So, that is all from 2020 and the NASCAR Wheel in Euro Series. Thank you for joining us at Vallelunga. Remember, look after all of our social media over the course of the winter.